What is Blockchain Skills for Youth? Blockchain Skills for Youth was a training course of 40 youth workers from different European countries. This project was coordinated by Copernicus Berlin in Benidorm, Spain. What we tried uh, to thought to all youth workers represented in this training was how to transfer important blockchain skills to young people of their community. You know, one of the main aim of Erasmus Plus program and European Union are the digital skills. Digital skills for young people means giving uh, to youngsters important ICT skills also in the field of blockchain. Because like, like you know, all the future jobs in the next few years or in the next 10 years will be related to this important uh, innovative technology. So people that uh, have this uh, capacity skills can really find a good job, increase their uh, wellness and also the global wellness of European Union. Uh, I wanted to participate in this training course because uh, I learned a little bit about the blockchain before but I didn't feel like this information uh, was uh, uh, proofed uh, or something like this. So if, when I go to the internet, uh, there are 10 different versions of the information. So I wanted to hear it uh, from the first hand from the experts on this topic that were provided during the training. And I also wanted to know um, more people from different uh, corners from the world and also improve my English, English skills. So that's why I decided to participate to this project. I'm interested in the European culture as well as, well as its history and uh, its traditional uh, dishes. And my academic career is related to the finance, blockchain, NFT. I'm extremely interested in that, uh, that, uh, that kind of the science. Well, I wanted to participate in this project to gain knowledge of blockchain. Uh, to learn about uh, blockchain, NFT and cryptocurrency and uh, of course um, learn about uh, other culture, meet new people and make network. I really want to know more about blockchain and about cryptocurrency because today the tendency is, is that these uh, kind of technologies develop. So um, me, I study history, so I didn't have so much information about these uh, new technologies. I knew very few things about blockchains and so uh, I, very, I was very curious about it. As a project manager in future, I want to learn more in IT skills such as blockchain. I knew a little bit about blockchain before coming here. I watched a few documentaries, like there was once uh, one called Blockchain Revolution on Curiosity Stream, and uh, I also took a few online courses. So I had a little bit of idea about blockchain before coming here, but it was like only superficial knowledge. Before coming to project, I only knew that it's related to cryptocurrencies and to some sort of technology. I knew very very few things really really few because uh, because of my job i've never used them before this i did not know too much i knew that it has something to do with the cryptocurrency but not not much no uh, before uh, participating to this project my knowledge about blockchain uh, was not that much i didn't know about blockchain at all yeah, I would say I also didn't know that much, but uh, just some information from my friends uh, who were doing NFT. Uh, but uh, I was afraid to go into this topic uh, without any prior sophisticated knowledge, so I thought that it will be a perfect opportunity to participate in the project. I know before to come in this project that the blockchain is a technology that makes more secure the, I don't know, different uh, contracts on the digital market but uh, not more about NFT or uh, the other t technologies. I learned in this uh, training course about blockchain that uh, it's more more uh, difficult than I believe when I come. I learned the connection between the cryptocurrency and NFT uh, to blockchain. I learned how to create an NFT, I learned how to maybe use this in my future career 
and how important it is to uh, stay up to date to the new uh, technologies. Especially I learned about the NFT, uh, what's the NFT, and uh, especially how we can uh, secure our uh, blockchain wallets, the, how, how we can trade. During this training course, I learned a lot about blockchain, also about NFTs and how it works. Well, it's, it really helps like finances and more security. During this project, I learned about, uh, a lot about blockchain, how it works. We uh, learned about cryptocurrency, that it gives us a lot of opportunities. Um, and also we learned uh, all, uh, a lot about NFTs. All, I uh, personally think that it's uh, our future and it gives us a lot of uh, new chances. And uh, for me personally, it was uh, very important that we had uh, some participants from the program that are already doing uh, something with the blockchain. For example, they are creative artists and they are doing NFT and uh, I wanted to learn from the first hand from them uh, how to do it and uh, get a more a better understanding of uh, all the theory and the practice from them too. But presently, I know a lot about blockchain, talking about cryptography, talking about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, Ethereum. I really learned a lot during the course of this program. When I learned about the blockchain before coming to this course, it was mostly uh, mostly the technical part, the many technical terms were included in it. Uh, but when I came here, um, they also gave a little bit of general idea. It makes it easier for me now uh, to explain it to someone who does not have a computer science background or does not know a lot about mathematics. And of course I learned what are blockchains, first of all, in a very clear way. And then I learned a little bit how to use them and how they could be useful for me, for my life and for my things in a general way. About this training course, I liked uh, specifically that it was um, a part with uh, interculturality and a lot of activities. I learned uh, about uh, a lot of new cultures. Uh, I uh, met new people and also uh, we had a lot of focus on the technical part. What I liked specifically in this training course was uh, I think uh, the, the friendly, friendliness in the environment. The environment was not only conducive to learning but everyone was uh, very friendly, especially the trainers. And this is usually uh, one of the problems that you know whenever you meet someone who is far more knowledgeable than you, they want to teach you something but they can also be condescending at the same time. Um, specifically I like that uh, we didn't have just, uh, I don't know, lectures where we are looking at a presentation and writing something down, but we had uh, everything in a more playful form and uh, we had a lot of interaction between the participants. So we were not listening about the blockchain, we were kind of finding out about the blockchain ourselves with the help of the experts. Uh, we also liked the different activities organized by uh, organizers. Uh, I also liked uh, our group because uh, people were really friendly and nice. So in this training course I really liked the organizers. Uh, the accommodation was also very good and also food. I was very surprised by the quality of everything and also everything was very well programmed. I like the most how the trainers prepare the activities because we all the time work together in small teams, other times in big teams and this time we can speak um, between us. It was very nice to work together in teams. I was able to meet so many people, I was able to network people from different countries we were able to brainstorm together. Despite communication challenges, we were still able to communicate and form a good teamwork. I, l I really love in this course was the group. People participant because I think they enjoyed herself very much. Even if we came, come from different countries and we are very, very different from each other, I think we had a very, very good time together playing and doing things and also learning about new things. Uh, for me the best thing is the people which you chose, mainly audience of the project, 
the people are so unique, so amazing, so uh, with the different backgrounds, with the different culture and with different experience. The, I never forget this, the memories, never. What I plan to do after this program is to get to where I based to bring all my friends together, use all my social media platforms such as LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter to sensitize so many people, to tell them the use of blockchain because presently as a youth there are some skills that we need to gather. I'm a teacher so I think uh, I would First of all, I have to study more about blockchains and all this system. And then um, I would like to try to transfer my new knowledge to my colleagues and also to my director because I think we need more security and probably blockchains could be a, a good idea, a good solution. The knowledge that I acquired during this course, I would apply in my hometown hometown uh, doing some workshops and informing a community about this stuff that I learned about blockchain. I'm going to share my knowledge uh, which I gained here. I'm going to keep my friends informed. Most of my friends, they don't know about blockchain at all, about cryptocurrency uh, and maybe invest some money in that. Yeah, I think uh, we learned uh, a lot about different resources that we can use and uh, find more information. Uh, for example, I have a, also a community of friends and my, from my family who are interested in the blockchain and NFT. So I would love to share my knowledge and maybe we can also in the future learn about it together and do it together too. I plan to implement it to make a short presentation to my students at school because they are teenagers and in pandemic they uh, show us that they have more uh, knowledge than us, than teachers. So I think to prepare a special class and present this knowledge. I plan to apply what I've learned here, specifically in the NFT area. In the past I knew about cryptocurrency, but what I've learned about the NFT made me realize that I can also create NFTs and maybe get into this business in the future. Yeah, it was a very nice project and I really enjoyed to be a trainer here. How was for you, Francesco? Yes, Alex. I think that uh, this experience was uh, very useful, not only for the participants, but also uh, for me. The topic was completely new. It's the first time that I worked on uh, such innovative uh, uh, topic. Also from the non-formal uh, aspects, it was also very uh, challenging to talk about that because uh, it looks very uh, technical one. But throughout uh, our uh, non-formal uh, education uh, classes, debates, uh, uh, working groups uh, and uh, some uh, very nice activities, I think that participants really uh, get the main points and in the end uh, they acquired uh, some uh, important knowledge that um, I think that they can use when they come back in their country to deliver some workshop to young people. Uh, you think that uh, they will uh, uh, apply some specific uh, blockchain workshop when they come back in their country? Yeah, I'm thinking that they will do it because uh, some of them were asking me to give them the presentation that I was using during the course because it catch them. Uh, also, I wasn't expected uh, a lot of things about this project because it was very ITC, it was very specific, but uh, hopefully I managed and participants also were very involved and they give some ideas how to uh, make this project more interesting for them. And we managed to implement the non-formal education in such a topic as blockchain that it's very, very complicated to understand. But also, I think it's very popular now and the participants will try to develop themselves. And we just give them a hint. We just help them to start developing in this field because uh, some of them already start to put their own NFT on different platforms. And, it's very, and we are very happy with that. Yes, it was uh, something amazing from this point of view. Also, I think that uh, all our uh, participants, by learning uh, what are all these cryptocurrencies, because maybe 
in the beginning they only knew uh, what was Bitcoin, but they, but they really didn't know what was uh, Ethereum or uh, Cardano or all other these cryptocurrencies. And I think that in such a way they can also uh, teach um, their youngsters in their country uh, how to use these cryptocurrencies, how to invest in them, but also how to use uh, uh, this knowledge to find uh, some interesting uh, uh, jobs. My opinion is that we have to continue in such a way and maybe we can give uh, other projects uh, related to some different parts of the blockchain technology. Yeah, blockchain is a huge one and we actually managed to speak only a little bit about the essential of blockchain, cryptocurrency, NFT, but there are a lot. And during our uh, non-formal education, I think the most important that they learn is the ability to learn. They were making researches, they were ask, uh, asking and answering the questions by themselves, and now they have this opportunity to research and search and know more about this topic and not only about the blockchain and uh, we can speak about everything that is related to ITC topic uh, for example the smart contract uh, that they discovered more information about it but it was too less time for us to speak about all these topics Yes, I, I agree. Uh, in the end, uh, like in all uh, projects, the most important uh, aspect is also the intercultural and exchange uh, of uh, opinions, uh, peer learning. I really hope that uh, uh, from these projects can uh, start some new uh, social but also uh, a business uh, activity can rise up from this knowledge and maybe can have some impact uh, between the different local communities of all participants and let's hope to make a bigger project about also blockchain technology with some of our partners. Yeah, but you were involved in just an activity. We with Francesco designed this project, I was the trainer, but how do you feel during this project? Oh, at first I was like, this uh, it's a very hard topic like to discuss and do trainings about and I thought it will be like boring with math and a lot of programming but you made it in a, such an interactive way so I was really impressed about this. It was like really easy for me to understand like what is blockchain, what are the cryptocurrencies and what is all the technology that stands behind all of this. Thank yeah. you very much for that, Alex. Yeah, with pleasure. I hope that all participants are thinking the same and they will have a great dissemination and they will uh, participate in more projects from our organization. Yes, so let's wait for the next. Yeah. We are waiting for you, dear participants. Yes, waiting for you all. <laughs>